going into the Roche. Good scan from SMG does tell them, though, and they're going to be in a position to try and force a fight here first. And they're going to find that Tusk immediately. Roger, he'll be the first victim of Boom Esports as mid one. Tried to reinitiate, but doesn't want any part of it. Who else have they got? With the disruption, they found Arfu. He is dropping real darn quick, but he gets the purge out in time. It just won't mean anything. In fact, they're going for more now. They might have a die back onto Roger. He's dropping low. They'll try to save with mid one. Scam will drop in Tim's. He's also gone. In fact, a double stun out at BZ. He might be the third and he will go down. But how do you deal with this Medusa? Jackie pops the stone gaze. Back in on the less rack they go. They want Moon down and they might just have him. But no, the blink away is there. So instead it's back in onto mid one with the hex out scam. He does lock him down long enough. And now they can begin that siege. They've got to do something about this Dusa. Well, here we go. The charge is in from mid one. He'll get started, but you've got to worry about that Aegis and Moon. He cops an arrow. It's a five second arrow, in fact, but Arfu will save with the disruption in the backside. They're trying to jump that line again, but Scam, he is surviving. He'll turn with the Hex out and the Earth Spike. Mid one's been caught out. The Roar is there. Oh, no. FBZ, he's got him. Mid one is down without buyback. That is terrible, terrible news for the side of SMG, as now they will just charge, charge backwards onto Raging and the Roger Tusk, and they completely wipe him out. Big chase on though from SMG is mid one and moon will commit the remnants, but I think your Yopage is well and truly out of there and now the turnaround might be upon us as FBZ rolling thunder from the backside. Arrow is oh. gonna land him. He doesn't miss these arrows, John. He'll take down Moon and Raising Potato. Well, we've seen this before. He's gonna try to run and he does have the help around him. So they may not pursue any further, but they've also caught out our foot. FBZ, blink in. He's got no Rolling Thunder, but he's opened up the Floodgates. As the Ravage does fly out from Raging, they will get Tim's, but it's a lot of damage in the Earth Spike. Catching out two again, but the oh Snowball, but now the Cookie! Onto three heroes! Jackie, he will get right to work. Raging just about to drop, but somehow still moving out of there. But they do eventually get him. And now they can chase for the rest. FBZ will at least find Roger. But they really want mid one and Oh, oh. yeah, Paj! Just spots him out with no! the Observer Ward and an Ultra Kill out for the, for the Snapfire. Part of this machine with Jackie, it still works out well. SMG not willing to give this one up though. They've got to try and find for the Stone Gaze and the Rolling Thunder as FBZ. He's found two oh targets God. again. Into the Mortimus Kisses Moon. He wasn't in the Snowball. He was out of range. They couldn't save him. He'll buy back and try to reinitiate, but his team's falling apart around him. Three buybacks already from SMG. As they jump back in on the Dusa. Jackie's falling low in terms of mana, but he does pop that Stone Gaze in Arfu. He was charging the wrong, wrong target. They couldn't lock him down. So they'll try back in for the Roshan now, knowing all those spells are down, and SMG might be able to get away from it. With our food, no, Scam, he's jumped in, but it's not enough. Mid one does get the Aegis up, but can he survive as the arrow has landed on the morph? It looks like he can. So boom, they will lose the Roshan. They might even lose your Yopage here, but he does manage to blink away in time. And with the Eye of Skadi slow out from Jackie, it looks like it's going to be Roger's oh life to pay. They even keep trying to fight, but the arrow Ooh. again onto Moon. Tim's is Mid just one? not missing. Mid one wave formed in to try and help out, but now he's in trouble. He does at least get the stun off, but your Yopage is there. Still strength morphing. Maybe he has a chance. He'll wave form the other way. Still the chase is on Tim's. He will not connect the star fall, but the scatter blast is not going to connect either. The leap was there. Mid one. He is trying to make magic happen, but he loses the Aegis. Raven may get caught out if he's not careful, but Jabs is nearby. Raven goes in with a Silver Edge, doing what he can. He still wants to play around this Aegis. Still has a minute left on it, so... With Jabs running in with the Exorcism on the back lines here, Jabs has done a good job finding the supports, but with Wraith King Gabby showing up, Jabs may just have to turn and run. He's in trouble with this BKB wearing off in a second here. Jabs, he gets instantly speared and re He gets speared out with the torrent hitting him, though. Gets healed back up a little bit by the Ascetic Tap, but he still ends up going down the fleet. Flying on through as well. Armor doing some good damage with the Sonic Wave. They've killed the Wraith King once, but I don't think they can do so twice. As Fnatic are dropping, losing their supports as well as jabs. And Armel needs to blink out. He's still going to BKB, but he's being chain stunned up. The Torrent is there. And T1 have demolished this team fight. They are going to maybe look to force a fight Raven. here, though. Raven very aggressively moving in, but SMG, they want to take the fight. I mean, Roger's got Ravage, so he just pops immediately in Armel. He's been stunned up. Raven is still trying to get out, but there is no way. 
Soulbind there on Januel. They'll just keep following up as they just stuck around here on Fnatic and they'll pay even higher prices as Roger does go down. But now Moon, realizing it is safe, does go into Armel and gets another kill for himself as DJ can't really help out. All he can do is try to escape now and he might just make it. But Moon wants to keep chasing the stun. It's not going to land, but they have another silence with the vision out from Raging Potatoes Creep. G grouped up as four. Roger is going to join very soon. Fnatic, though, still from the backside, trying to find a nice way in. They might find Raging first, and that's a great target to get as the duel is going to be there. Into the sharpshooter. They should be able to blow him up at mid one. He takes the sharpshooter. It won't matter, though. They get the Beastmaster, but now the Ravage comes in. Roger again helping out his team and Raven. All he can do is BKB and TP away. It's a two-for-one trade thus far. It might even be a third now as DJ has been chased down by Moon. And he'll try to get away through the tree line, but it is not going to work out. They're trying to make their way into that triangle, and the scan is going to find out Raven. So the zip is there. Vortex is not out yet. Moon, he does find three targets, and now the Ravage. It connects on four heroes again. Roger just on target, on point. They've already taken down three heroes for Fnatic, though Fnatic is still going to try and fight. They'll get Roger down. Raven, though, is going to TP out with that BKB timing. And Armel now, he needs his own exit strategy. But what is it going to be? What's well, just blinking out, John, because he's playing Tinker. Yeah, the Shadow Demon, he just got punished. He didn't shift out in time. Oh, Afu. Oh, they've caught out Armel. And Armel, he's a valuable pickoff to take as DJ pops the Ravage. They're going to try and fight back. Januel lines up a stun. Fingers there. Mid one, though. He's still alive, but he's dropping low himself. This could be a very valuable kill, and they've left mid one to die. He'll fight till the bitter end. The Fnatic, they'll lose Armel. This? Oh, Moon, he's going to jump back in. Genuel is gone, and now DJ, thinking they were safe, is going to get punished. In fact, make that a fourth now as Jabs. He also made his way over. So while it took SMG a long time to make that play happen, DJ oh immediately going to get blown up. And now Raven, he just fought back. He can't no. afford to die like this, but he's gone. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, God. He's down for over a hundred seconds here as Armel's gonna have to pull off some magic. Oh, and he gets caught out. Roger, he's two on the money today. That'll be Armel without no buyback buybacks. to boot John. Three heroes down without buyback for Fnatic. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this could be the fight where it starts to become one. Skem walks into everybody there, but the Sonic Wave from the high ground with the Rolling Thunder. Now a Ghost Ship turner on the Torrent. It could be too much. Boom, Esports get eaten alive by it initially, but the PABKB going charging forward eats the Void alive. He couldn't find a good Chronosphere, and Carl now all alone tries to Shadow Blade himself out of there, but the damage is too much. That's the PA's first BKB. Having the full nine seconds proved to be more than enough. And they're going to back off when they realize that, you know, Boom yeah. on bad. They've also run Carl, out of top. he vaults in, but instantly gets cursed up. Nice response from Tim's Wyvern to help Yopaj out. Ghost Ship gonna come flying through, but Carl manages to get away from that one. Throws out a Flame Break with the Finger of Death onto FBZ, but he tanks his way through it. And with the Fiend's Grip coming out onto Zephyr's Marana, the damage may be too much for him, but Marana goes leaping forward, wants the FBZ kill, and will get it. Plus the Yopage death. They're absolutely destroying them. Gabby finishes off Tim's as well, and that's three dead on the Boom Esports side. About to be four with Skem. Chase down as well. Only Jackie's life still are left standing. What a disaster for Boom Esports here. They are scanning in the trees, so I think they have an idea of where Tim's is. Well, they definitely do now when he throws out the Splinter Blast, but elsewhere, they've gone in with the Blink Lasso. Batrider starting the fight, and Tim's goes down. They get both supports on the Boom side, and yeah, Boom, I don't think we're ready for that one. Tim's overestimating, perhaps, how safe he was in this top lane, and FBZ himself, he Dark Rifted up here. He's got no escape, so Gabby just chase him down with the BKB. They're not done. They found one more. They found the life zilla. That's a big kill if they can get it. And no escape for him. Yopaj even in trouble himself. He's got the BKB, but he can't TP out. He's being chased down. If they got the control for him, I think with the movement speed, he might just barely be okay. But no, they flame break him back, and they just dive the high ground. Full team wipe for T1. Absolutely destroying Boom in this fight. Gabby has rotated on the Razor. They've still got 90 seconds left on this Aegis, so it does seem like T1 want to take a fight, and Gabby's got the perfect line coming in from behind. He gets Nightmared up, though. Gets the BKB off, though, as he does get woken up here, and now they're going to take out the Bane support to start things off here. FBZ could be next on the Underlord. He's already used his ultimate, and Yopaz just has to BKB TP his way back home. 
Tims as Wyvern gets chased down. The Infest heal, not enough from Jackie. And now his Infest is on cooldown. No rage for a couple of seconds, but he will be okay. The buybacks will scare T1 off. And they do X back in the Wraith King. They want to force this fight. Jackie's going to be careful. He's so incredibly low. He's actually gone down. He's overcommitted. As is Yopaj. It's a rampage. Gabby just eats him alive, just zapping them with the lightning. Has still got an Aegis. So even if he loses his first life here, he's not afraid to die of the enemy base. And they can smell victory here in this series. It's the Game 3 Decider, and they are just taking over this Boom Esports base. Gabby's lost his first life, but he's still got a BKB to play around, and he is going to BKB TP his way out of here. So T1. Lions also. Everyone's just, like, trying to find a pickoff, and they finally got one. Oh, he gets bailed up by the Lotus Orb. Ba Bane getting low here. He nightmares himself. These Flame Breaks are just doing too much damage, though. He does end up going down. The Razor on the high ground is trying to get this mid lane of Rax here. Cuckoo did lose his first life on the Wraith King. Had to BKB waddle his way out of the, the Radiant base. But Jackie, in some trouble here, has to back off for now. Gabby couldn't actually finish off the melee racks. This high ground push is just so frustrating for T1. They've got to know and feel that this game is like, surely we, we've won this game, right? Like, there's some, we're looking to break some records. I feel like I've definitely seen like 60, 65k gold leads before. Blink lasso in. Another... Another save coming into play here as Gabby goes charging forward with the Eye of the Storm just zipping and zapping through everyone. But he's getting brought pretty low here. Jackie's trying to fight his way through this one, but he's losing his damage to the Static Link. And there's too much Gabby damage. Plus 226. Plus 300, sorry, after the Enfeeble wears off. He is just right-clicking too damn freaking hard. Buyback on FBZ, but the Lifesteal are not so fortunate. Without a buyback on him, this may be the end finally for Boom. 56k gold lead. Cuckoo blinks in, just cleaving through him with the Wraith King. He eats the Bane alive. He wants Yopage next. Feels like finally they may have fin <laughs> finally broken through. Boom. They've definitely broken through my ability to talk about this game. Winter's Curse definitely comes out on a lion, them. but it doesn't even connect on anything. <laughs> and surely this is it. Surely, Sheepo. Surely. Surely. Don't back off now, good. T1. Oh, the Splinter Blast to clean Yopage. Oh, it's just an Aegis. And Cuckoo's also got it, got himself reincarnation. <laughs> they're just they're just giving them some extra Aww. kills here. Only Yopaz left standing, and they'll GG out as the team wipe is completed. So it's really just the void spoon. That's why I was so adamant about Yopaz needing to have an excellent game because if you don't disable that marksmanship, you've got nothing. Here we go. SMG think they can sneak a Roshan, but Boom have made their way over with the smoke, and they've already sniped Afu. And the grip coming out on Roger as well does get cancelled by a charge. Tim's needs to get this Ravage off, but he Tim's gets Roshan. Ravage before he can do so. The Sonic Wave stopping it. FBZ in the middle gets Echo Slam to prevent the time left. Boom have lost three with the buyback from Apu, but he is going to die again. Jackie making sure they get some of these kills here. On the front lines is Yopaj. He's got no Astral Step left. Does have a Yule Step. He had the Yule hit by the charge. Yeah, he didn't have vision perhaps of the Spirit Breaker coming in, so they lose four. Rage and Potato just finding the line. No great way to kill him off. Medusa TPing in here uh, in the trees. Finishes the TP. In the... Yeah, into five heroes. And they protect her here. Bane, Skim, Sing behind has the defensive nightmare. That buys Jackie some time. Does have the stone gears, which he's holding onto, but he's a bit low on mana here. But the snake coming low. back will heal him back up. And they get the first kill on mid one. And after going down as well, Roger they got dying. Ravage. And SMG are just dropping like flies. Ravage captures out absolutely everyone that's left standing. And Queen of Pain being pulled back in. Mid one can only BKB TP out. Rage and Potato on the side is just going to try to charge his way out of there. And what a hold from Boom. Boom, get the tier 4 tower, and now the throne exposed. Bop does smoking. have a buyback here, which they may just have to use. There we go. They commit it with the smoke here on the front lines. Is Raging Potato, and he goes down before he can use a spell, really. Jackie They're still trying to bait him for Afu. Yeah. They need to deal with Jackie. He's just this unpenetrable wall in the front lines that they just can't burst through. And no one's grouping up next to him for an Echo Slam here, so Afu's just throwing out stuns. They are chipping at him. They're getting him kind of low here, but the time lapse is there. Sonic Wave comes out, but to no avail. Roger's Exorcism is kind of just tickling at Boom, and it feels like it's too little too late. Nice-ish Echo Slam, but once again, it's tickling. Tim's the same with the Ravage, and it's game over. Game one going to go the way of Boom Esports. Yeah, and that's maybe something SMG realizes, that without that Rolling Thunder, oh, this Roger is a lot safer, but Static Storm catches that four inside the Kinetic Field as well. Yopaj on top, the Ravage to kind of counter this one. Jackie doesn't have the BKB in time, but now he gets it off afterwards. And with the lasso coming into play, they're just getting eaten alive in this Roshan pit. They tip Skem. 
And, oh boy, what a disaster for SMG. I'm this feels need to like see more than one tip. That was that was oh. game winning. Go for the Roshan oh, still. Moon? moon, he's in, but no, he's too early. Roshan ends up he going down. It. I think Moon. He got no, he got it. He killed Roshan and got the Aegis. One versus five. Moon. He's trying to get the Opash kill. He's got one. Can he get anything else? He's gonna force it back. Does get glimpsed in though. Have they got the damage for Moon? They're also low on the boom side. They don't really want to fight him right now. He's out of remnant charges though, and I believe that means they should be able to kill him off. But Roger's oh showing up to help God, him out at Moon. Moon. He's back to safety. He's gonna live with the Aegis in hand as well. Oh boy. They even scanned the rune so they I think realize what's going on here. Moon is gonna go for this thunder unless he gets caught. Initiated on by FBC's rolling thunder. They chain stun him with the lasso follow-up and they even scanned. They had an idea that boom were there. Then the spider legs from FPZ gets him out of the cliff. He uses oh, it as heaven. well just to make sure he doesn't die to the kisses. Oh. There's a static storm to stop it. He does end up going down. The mid one right clicks hit hard. But the BKB terrible on the front lines. Jackie gets... Actually, he's getting chomped at. The Jar Ranger is doing a lot of damage. He tries to get his way out of that with the Manta style, but he can't sunder anyone. They lose Weaver as well. And with the buyback from Moon, it's Boom who are getting absolutely annihilated. They lose four off of a Moon buyback and mid one showing up to the fight. SMG disengaged, but they've only got three heroes on the boom side. Roger's looking for a fiend grip here, but Tim's on the high ground. Gets the bugs out. They know they can't let Roger get off a good fiend grip. They've got to try and kill him first, but Skem taking a lot of damage from the kisses. Does get the Yule Scepter up in the air, so that keeps him alive for a little bit longer, but he still can't spy siphon his way through this. Tim's Tim on the low. back line, wants Raging Potato, but he gets Netherstruck here, and mid one does end up going down. Really well played. The Infest giving a little bit of heal as well as they get a third kill in this fight. They're looking Moon. for Apu. They may even get all five here. Moon, the big kill if they can get it. He's going for the TP out, but they've got the Searing Chains to cancel it. It's a full team wipe. As maybe the Death Prophet lived. He has the cloak. That's all I'm saying. You know, he might <laughs> be able to get the magic wand. Some of those spirit siphons. Oh, that keeps it on. Yeah, I'm not sure what Roger was thinking going up to the high ground by himself, but... He gets punished for it, and the follow-up kills are maybe done. coming their way. There's potential for mid one to turn this one around. Gets the avalanche toss on absolutely everybody, but the life stealer infest with a little bit of heal comes out, and he's looking to turn this fight for Boom Esports. Mid one goes down, and they're not done just yet. Apu knows his fate, so he tries to throw his body at the wolves with an inkswell stun, but it's not enough. Is the Atos also going to catch Raging Potato? And they're still not done. They have Chrono to play with here in Jack. Oh, Gabby. They saw Gabby for a second. He'll try to meld to blink away. But Jackie's oh. got both of them in the chrono. He's got everything he could ask for into the torrent boat. And Yopage will clean up. Get the brooms out. Because Zephyr now, he'll be the third. Carl's going to try and help. But I'm not sure about that, Carl. He's run right into the whole side of Boom. But can they lock him down? It looks like they just may. Is he'll BKB up at FBC. He's got another jewel out onto the Lena this time. Another victory for Boom Esports. Getting that secondary life from that very low cooldown on that first level. Oh, but they might find him immediately. White Mon, he's in with the Ignite. Can they lock him down? Aeon Disc already proc, so he's forced to blink away. In the meantime, they do come in from the backside. Boom, Esports is still trying to wait, find a way to force this fight. But Torrent is going to land on Carl, and it looks like T1 are happy to just kite out. FBZ though, chaining right in, trying to force the fight. It's not happening yet. Carl is still just hiding away from from the side of Boom Esports as they chase him down. Who have they caught? It's going to be Zephyr on the snap fight. But in the meantime, Skem has died and Gabby, he's cleaning up. He's found Tim's to boot. They even do take down that snap fire, but now they can work on towards Ooh. FBZ and the damage output. Gabby, he's just annihilating them right now. A big sonic wave and a double sonic wave out, however, but it doesn't seem to be enough as Jackie with the battle trap He's gonna try and fight by himself, but here comes the Torrent Storm, and here comes Gabby onto Yopage. He's got the Queen of Pain down, and it seems like the troll is all by himself. As FBZ though, he'll chain in with the with the chains out. He does get Carl on that Conquer, but Jackie is still looking to die. As Gabby's got a rampage on the TA, and it might just be a double. FBZ's gonna pop the Bloodstone. It's not gonna be enough. A double rampage out for Gabby. 
gonna have his smoke broken, but the slow is there and pings are out onto Lelouch. Shackle only gonna lock him down for half a second. They move in, but the arena is there from FBZ onto Cuckoo and Whitemon. He just melts. Even Skem buying back into this fight because he wants to commit that ulti. But two already down for T1, and now the trap slow is pretty insane as Zephyr. He's gonna get shackled up. He can't get out of there. He's gonna drop, and Lelouch is not out of trouble yet either. He's out of mana as FBZ finds another target. That might be another kill for you, Paj. An ultra kill for the Lena. And they'd love a rampage. But Skem was unable to find where Gabby went. Gonna try again a smoke on smoke situation into the ages of Jackie. This could be a very dangerous predicament for T1, but they are desperate right now to make something happen before that high ground push does come in. He's in the front, waiting for someone to show so he can make the jump in. Scam. Scam meanwhile, might find Lelouch. They're going to try and blow up the Bane again. And he does go down. A great start for T1, but Lelouch, he gets blown up himself. And now, Gale with the Gale points. back and the arena, FBZ's in. They get Whitemon down, but Gabby, he's going to try and fight on that PA. He does get the Aegis of Jackie. But now with the silence out, he is locked down with nowhere to go. Gabby, no, oh, the relocate from Zephyr is going to be good enough. Gabby is still in the middle of all this. The relocate does not end up saving, or maybe it does, Gabby. He does blink strike out and does make it but it's gabby versus the world as fbz continues chasing the pa they'll buy back on cuckoo they are gonna try one last time to defend but boom esports they know this game is looking very very over as they go on to the ancient and the gg has oh been called your champions of the regional finals for the sea dpc it's gonna be boom esports